A growing population and a high birth rate in the country are set to make India the most populous nation in the world very soon. This could well make our demographics a unique one. I am referring to the early detection and treatment of congenital heart diseases. Apollo helms the Saatchi, Save a Child's Heart Initiative, a non-profit entity that champions screening and treatment of congenital heart disease in the underprivileged children. In this interesting episode of Let's Talk Health, our pediatric super specialist will walk you through the recent advances in diagnostics and treatment of congenital heart diseases. India is a young country with children up to 12 years of age making up 27% of its population. Genital heart diseases or CHD accounts for 6 to 10 percent of all the infant deaths. However, with recent advances in diagnostic and treatment modalities, over 75 percent of these patients can survive and lead normal lives. Congenital heart defects basically uh, a baby is born with a with a fault in the heart, like people born with a, a limb problem. So they can be born a defect in the heart. That's called congenital heart disease. And it's the most commonest congenital defect in India. Approximately 1,80,000 to 2 lakh children are born with CHD every year in India, of which one third to half are critical CHD requiring early intervention. Heart is the seat of life. Uh, I've been in cardiac surgery for about 20 years now. And sometimes it's just a tube that's all inverted and pumping blood, but it is the seat of life. Fortunately, around 80 to 80% of the conditions can be cured completely. So like holes or absent valves or leaking valves can be fixed and they can lead a normal life like anybody else. Pediatricians are not mere doctors. They are trusted partners in your child's health. It never gets easy. And whenever you tell them that the child requires heart surgery, the father breaks down, the mother breaks into tears, the grandparents get very anxious, and it's a natural reaction. And then the next question is, how risky is the surgery? And you know, we have this worldwide risk stratification where we can tell them this surgery is 2%, that surgery is 10 percent, this surgery is 15 percent, but for the father and mother and the grandparents, that child is 100 percent. Throughout the globe, pediatric cardiology is a subspeciality evolved and practiced within the ambit of pediatrics in close conjunction with the surgical and anesthesia team. I always say it's like cricket. You're as good as your team. So I have to have fantastic cardiologists, anesthetists, intensivists, nursing staff, surgical team members. We have to have coordination, understanding, and that's what produces great results in this tough field. We look at stories of three individuals and their families who have fought their war with congenital heart disease. Sharon was born a preterm baby and also a premature. He was uh, about 1.7 kg uh, during his birth uh, and also uh, he, he was been uh, terminated uh, uh, during the 8th month uh, because of his, uh, his uh, mother's uh, pregnancy induced the hypertension. Seven days after his birth when Shravan was taken to a local pediatrician for his immunization, his parents found out that he had a systolic heart murmur. The pediatrician also found two holes in the atrium and three holes in the ventricle of his heart.
we were uh, waited for uh, three years. Three years because uh, usually as a doctor, we I know that uh, Shravan's uh, VSD and ESD may close within the age of three years. To see their little son falling ill frequently was an ordeal for both the parents. After four years, we were in mental stress only. No full happiness. Wherever we go, if we get the cold, a common cold, or fever, or anything else, we have to give immediately the antibiotics. Lot of he was taking lot of medicines. Of seeing that itself, we were suffering a lot. Till the three years, he was having frequent respiratory infections. And we have put up uh, for him in uh, pre-KG at uh, two and a half years. Uh, and also in junior KG when he went, he was uh, frequently out of classes because of the respiratory infections. He was having uh, difficulty in breathing. He was uh, difficulty in walking. He was, uh, he was having a uh, uh, failure to thrive. Everything was uh, in a negative manner. That's why uh, the, that is the only thing we are uh, very much uh, suffered and uh, that is, uh, that, that's a mental agony we had. Shrevan is diagnosed with two heart problems. He has got two holes, one in the top chamber called an atrial septal defect, one in the bottom cha chamber called ventral septal defect. He's been suffering from that since birth and he's been having frequent respiratory tract infections and his father is, uh, you know, the biggest uh, enemy for us, what we know already. So his father knows about the heart disease, what is the uh, uh, surgical results of it. So although he knows surgical results are good, he didn't want to put this child through cardiac and bypass. He wanted to know whether anything can be done different to bypass procedure because although bypass has really improved a lot, there is a chance for learning disability also long term, they say. So he want to do something without surgery. We went to Apollo hospitals at the age of uh, Stravans, four years, and we went for an echocardiography and we had a uh, thorough checkup. At that time, uh, we have been given uh, two options either for a minimal invasive device closure and uh, open heart surgery. And uh, we went for the minimal invasive device closure with the doctor Mutikumar. <laughs> surgery was performed and Shravan was discharged the following day. We fixed both the holes with top hole ASD with the device and bottom hole with another VSD device. The total, total project took around one hour for us and the next day he was discharged and uh, he was so amazed by the sort of you know no scar nothing he went to school the third day and he couldn't believe it and so that's how we met Shravan. The device surgery, first uh, when they were saying about the device surgery, I was uh, not aware of that. Uh, but once it done and uh, when I saw uh, uh, my baby with, uh, I, my baby actively, he's participating in everything now. So I'm very happy of that. A device procedure through the help of technology has helped Shravan today to be an active child and he is doing very well. His heart is fixed, no holes. He can do bungee jumping also if he wants to. The device won't move away. He can join our Air Force, a Navy, which needs the high, highest top priority fitness. So he's got a fit, most fittest heart. So long, lifelong he can do whatever he wants to. So there's no restrictions to physical activity. From the day one discharge till now, there is no restriction for him. We are taking outside to all hill stations. Before and all, we can't go for any hill station. Now we are going it frequently, no problem for him. He's very living a healthy, healthy, healthy life. Coming up, both Yoga Lakshmi and Niranjana were diagnosed with severe heart condition at a very young age. After undergoing successful surgeries with a fighting spirit, both of them are doing very well and so are their families.
Yoga Lakshmi was born in 2002 on the first day that she was evaluated at and was found to have severe complications of the heart. In 2002, while she born, the first day itself, we facing the problem, she was not weeping properly. So doctor advised her to go to specialist. When the specialist put the test, she told she is having a hole in the heart. The hole is minor. Now we have to do for the scanning. Everybody was shocked. We shocked. We don't know what to do. Just we are believing the doctors and the God. So while scanning, the hole was noticed behind the wall. And she asked us, okay, let us wait for the next 10 years. It will close automatically. If it is not closing, we have to go for the surgery. Let us wait for next 10 years. So year on year, she is growing. The whole size is getting somewhat smaller, not fully closed. One stage, the closing is getting stopped. It is nature's uh, cruel game. Thousand children are born. Uh, the, the rule of the thumb is about eight will be born with some defects. So she just falls into that category. I don't think there were any mit, uh, predisposing factors for her to get any congenital heart disease. Every day was a struggle for Yoga Lakshmi and her family. Yoga Lakshmi's case is a very interesting case because uh, she's a very pretty girl. She came in the mid-teens, like 13, 14 years to me. She's been diagnosed with a heart problem as early as one year of age. And the whole family has been living with that feeling that her child has got a heart condition from first year of age till 15 years of age. Although doctors have told them the hole is smaller, it can close automatically. They, they were not happy in going for surgery. This hole is particularly very close to the valves. So previous thoughts is we, are, we have to go for open heart surgery. But as a father, the pretty young girl, he didn't want to put her through a surgery to have a bad scar on her chest. So he was waiting all along saying, is it safer to wait, safer to wait. So since she was doing well, the other doctors advised to wait. Let's see if it's closer or not. Yog Lakshmi was fond of sports from a very young age, but due to her heart condition, she struggled to actively participate in it. Before my surgery, I was only able to run continuously for 200 meters. After that, I wouldn't run because um, I wouldn't breathe and I'll just uh, faint. And then everyone started to ask, why were you uh, just like that you are different and I didn't say anything to anyone. For Yoga Lakshmi, it was one of the hardest times of her life. When she was running for the long distance, she might have fallen down. And the breath has gone, the eyes gone up. She we have to pump and we have to bet it back. This was a suggestion that happened several times. After a successful surgery, Yoga Lakshmi made a gradual and an uneventful recovery and is now doing very well. The hole is closed completely, the valve leak disappeared completely. After my surgery, I don't have to depend upon anyone. I felt very comfortable. I don't have to worry about anything. In the world, I am the highest, happiest person in the world. You can't believe this, it's a reality. 12 years I have carried a lot of pain in my heart. But for the past one year, I am having full of happiness in my heart. These days a newfound interest in poetry writing inspires the 15 year old and she is enjoying her newfound lease of life. Dawn. In the dawn, the train goes fast for the breakfast. The clock makes a sound when the clock makes a round and everyone starts paying. I request all the parents, if your child is having this much of heart troubles or something, please don't worry. God is with you. Doctors are with us. India is the best safety, safety, safety place for all kind of medical treatments. You can make use of this. It is up to us to make. It is up to us to utilize. That's all.
Subhalakshmi today feels better, lays better, and has a marked improved appetite. All this, and with no scar left behind to remind her about the operation she underwent. Niranjana has been suffering from congenital heart disease since she was nine months old. Niranjana is 18 now, and she has had two surgeries because of a heart condition. was 9 months baby they realized that i had a congenital heart disease so till then i was fine but i used to have a little illness and sick i used to have continuous vomitings or something like that if something goes in i used to vomit out when she was in 9 uh, months baby so uh, there will be a frequent cold and uh, cough and as well as fever so we went for uh, pediatrician and he expressed some doubt about her uh, this thing and he advised me to contact cardiologist opinion by that time i was not in a position to meet for the all these things being a corporate officer uh, hospital at uh, vijay hospital in chennai there will be around 2 lakhs of uh, uh, surgery but i was a very small employee somebody told that to go for puttaparthi shri satyashai institute of higher medical sciences we went there and uh, she had uh, four to five times of uh, angiogram also but uh, finally in 2004 she had surgery for uh, pulmonary valvotomy had my first surgery when i was in my third standard that is in 2004 and i had my second surgery at uh, apollo like when i was in 10th standard and it's in 2011 being a child so we cannot uh, in a position to convince her for the certain things for the surgery or uh, medication whatsoever it is a very difficult to convince the children when comparatively uh, adults So as a parent I have struggled a lot. My father and my mother was like why only you have to get this and they were so like they were so sad and uh, it was like a nightmare that's it. Niranjana is 18 now and she came to us about 6 years ago as a 12 year old. And she had had a heart surgery for a narrow pulmonary valve. So they had spread that that was leaking but that was not a problem. but my cardiologist dr muthukumaran picked up an anomaly that was missed the first time the left lung the vessel should return with pink blood to the left side of the heart it was draining to the right side the challenge was that it's a second time surgery the first time you cut the bone this is the breast bone you cut it and the heart is free but when you go back a second time the heart is stuck so you have to release the heart because if you damage the heart the patient just bleeds to death on the table and then we redirected the pulmonary veins to the correct side and then we put in a valve a conduit with less than 2% mortality and less than 3% of any complications at apollo the surgery was successful subconscious for almost 2 days after my surgery when i was conscious at the third day that time i came to know that they were so happy and since my surgery was successful and now they knew that i am going to be a normal person like each and every girl or some person like me of my age i was so excited because it was my second life after a successful surgery niranjana got a new lease of life with her like i said she falls into that 10 20% bracket where the valve will need some tinkering later because these valves are not permanent but the valve is behaving fairly well and sometimes they last for 20 30 years and i always believe technology is going to evolve that she may not need an open heart surgery that the cardiologist can just deploy a valve through the groin vessels as an interventional procedure she can just forget about her heart for the time being i have not at all feeling she is a heart patient now she can even ride bike Niranjana is now going to college and she's a you no know, flowered into a young woman and so particularly satisfying to to see them grow so it's a wonderful wonderful feeling when you see them grow up. people may be having some problems but 
overcoming that problems like enjoying them and coming out of that and coming into normal routine is the only thing that a man can do and achieve your goals health is not a constraint but you take care of your health and never bother what happens go on with your conscious that's it hello everybody i'm here to give you an update on niranjana yoga lakshmi and shravan Niranjana, who underwent an open heart surgery, is doing fantastically well and is back in college. Normally, you should have to come back for a repeat valve replacement because usually they tend to degenerate. However, because technology has now advanced to such an extent, this can be now done percutaneously without surgery and or as a hybrid procedure. Dr. Muthu's patients, Yoga Lakshmi and Shravan, are cured for life and will require no further operations. Their quality of life has improved dramatically. Folks, children are an extremely vulnerable group requiring tender loving care and attention. Given their age, susceptibility, and the need for specific clinical expertise, it is important you pick a provider that specializes in pediatric care. As always, healthy lifestyle choices clubbed with early assessments is the key for a happy, healthy life. Till we meet again next week on Let's Talk Health, goodbye for now.